unrealistic standards of perfection have become almost synonymous with modern relationships. Now, I don't know whether it's this fake, quote unquote, progressive, super liberal mentality or social media as a whole, but most people think they're more than what they are. And what I mean when I say this is, everyone believes that they deserve the quote unquote best. Everyone has these standards on what they're looking for as it pertains to that quote unquote right person. If you ask girls what they look for in a guy, they all typically say the same things, right? Just pretty much basically any good quality in moderation. Like, oh, I don't want much. I just want him to be smart, driven, ambitious, funny, loyal, honest, respectful, caring, thoughtful, kind, successful, etc, etc. They all pretty much say more or less the same things, just worded differently when it comes to quality or characteristics. And the problem with this is that most people, almost everyone, fixate so much on finding that right person nowadays when they themselves aren't even half the person that they want. They're delusional. They think they're more than what they are. And social media is mainly to blame for this, and I'll tell you why. You can post an edited picture with perfect angles and lightings, facetune and everything, right? By the way, I just learned about what facetuning is. That shit's so wild. I feel for the younger generation growing up in the era of social media, man, because they're screwed. But anyways. But basically, you can post this augmented filtered photo of yourself and show this storyboard of perfection that is your life, and then get a bunch of strangers and people you hardly know telling you how amazing you are and look. And because of this, people become deluded. They think they're more than what they are. Like, yeah, I am a queen. And you combine that with the fact that people are constantly on social media looking at augmented versions of other people, the natural your standards become extremely high and unrealistic, especially for girls. You start to think you're more than what you are and you look for unrealistic standards in people because of what you see on social media. And by the way, if you're not getting the point, I'll spell it out for you. We can't all deserve the best. We can't all be the best. Some of us have to be the shitty ones. Actually, most of us. Everyone has these high ass standards and fixes on finding the quote unquote right person when they themselves aren't even that right person for themselves or someone else. And this is the perspective or mentality that social media has created as it pertains to dating and love, generally speaking. And on top of that, most people think they have endless options. I mean, the slightest thing that deters you about someone, you think you can just move on to something better. Before technology and social media, you couldn't talk to 200 girls in a bar or 200 guys. That'd be ridiculous. But now because of social media and dating apps, you can say what's up to literally 400 people in a few hours. It's been reduced to swiping left or right based on a quick glance. And you can hit up as many people as possible and respond to the best looking ones. Same thing with Instagram direct messaging. If you're lonely or a love addict, you're going to be doing this non-stop. And yeah, sure, some people just want to genuinely meet other people, but a lot of people are just lonely and missing love or self-love in their life. And social media and dating apps are like drugs and alcohol, literally for people like this. And it affects guys and girls differently. And also because social media has become such an integral part of most people's lives, it has so many negative effects on relationships. And the reason being is because social media is a vortex of fake validation, attention, vanity, lust for acceptance, fake love, etc. For sex or love addicts, social media can feed your compulsions because of these things. I'm willing to bet you every single relationship runs into problems with social media. Because the nature of social media naturally contends with having a genuine relationship with someone who becomes your other half. Like why'd you like this girl's picture of her showing ass or this guy sent me a DM and I saw your comment on his or her picture. Things like that, the things with something as volatile as social media interactions. And I mean first only a person themselves know their true intent right, like it's my word against yours type shit. For example, I just liked her picture because it was a nice picture, it had nothing to do with the fact that she's shown ass. Or he was just being nice and complimenting me, so I just responded. Bro, you hear so many situations like this, it's actually hilarious. And getting back to my point, you can't prove intent, right? I mean, I guess you can and probably be right, but again, intent is intent. So you can technically always argue that wasn't your intent and no one will ever know besides you. So there's always contention in that aspect of relationships when it comes to social media. It happens all the time because it's the nature of social media interactions and attention. It just doesn't go well with love and relationships because it's always about putting on a front and all these other things. And there's a lot of snowball effects of social media on relationships. Another negative is people not understanding the difference between lust and love. The dating game is fun. The flirting stage is fun. People enjoy the chase. It's a game that we all enjoy playing. And there's also a lot of cases where sometimes people don't even like each other. But since they're in the same social circle, they naturally start flirting just because it's fun. The whole push-pull dynamic of dating is something that stimulates and excites people. You know, every time the girl or guy you like responds to a tech, it's like chasing a high. The difference is, lust is rooted in physical and sexual attraction or just attraction in general, and you can feel it too. I mean, lust is primarily about physical excitement and having that craving for someone. Social media exacerbates this because the lust aspect of dating, I mean, it's pretty obvious. People can see an attractive person on social media and become obsessed. They think they're in love with that person. As dumb as that sounds, it's true because you're looking at a fake storyboard of what seems to be perfect. And as much as you think you know it's not real, you don't. It sells you a fantasy and the reason why people are susceptible to this is because deep down they're lonely. It's not a generalization, it's true. And I think it goes for a lot of people. It's real common and because of this you attach made up qualities in your mind about said person just out of lust. 
It's why a good amount of relationships early don't last. There's a lot of hopeless romantics out there, including yours truly. And again, social media exacerbates this for obvious reasons, and people get into relationships for a lot of the wrong reasons too. So many people get high off a good hangout or conversation or draws ideas about someone in their head. And again, deep down, people wanting to get into relationships fast is because they're afraid of or dislike being alone. And obviously, with the rise of social media, loneliness is naturally increasing. The more time people spend on technology and social media, the less likely they're going to be able to converse and find a real relationship. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's why the male virginity rate has been going up and why less people are getting married. Technology has undoubtedly made people more lonely. You don't even need statistics for that. Just use your brain and think about it. And loneliness is a huge part of people getting into relationships quick. And yeah, it's natural. When you feel alone, when you're incapable of being by yourself, naturally you just want to be with someone. You just want to be in a relationship. I mean, especially if you're seeing people around you on social media and your friends looking like the cutest couple on social media, you're like, I want that. And I think this aspect applies to girls more, but I might be wrong. Maybe it's 50-50. But genuinely, seeing other couples on social media and it seems like they're so happy together, because I mean, first of all, why would you see any negative moments on social media? And because of that, you want to be in a relationship. You want some of that warmth and love because deep down you're lonely or lack love in your life. And looking for love can be addicting and this is why online dating is such a huge thing. Personally, I don't think you should get into a serious committed relationship until you have a solid idea or foundation of who you are. I mean, not that it can't work out getting into a relationship early. It's definitely rare but not impossible. But again, relationships also teach you a lot about yourself, and it's something you can only learn through experience. So there's ups and downs, obviously. But getting into relationships just out of the fear of being alone 9 times out of 10 will never work out. And to be honest, a part of growing up is just learning to be by yourself. Obviously, you have friends and people you surround yourself with, but as you get older, naturally you do most things on your own and deal with most things on your own. As I'm sure you listening to this right now would agree with. But this loneliness is having a worse effect, specifically for guys out there, especially when it comes to dating and love and all that stuff. I mean, that's a whole nother topic or video on its own. Male loneliness. It's why girls can sell naked pictures and pictures of their feet to these lonely guys on social media looking at girls. It's why parasocial relationships have grown exponentially in the era of social media. And a parasocial relationship is basically a one-sided relationship that a media user engages in with a media persona. I mean, it's why there's Twitch streamers who can hold tens of thousands of live viewers. It's why OnlyFans exploded. I mean, there's just lonely, lost, lustful guys out there. And this demographic, especially as of recent years, has been taken advantage of in the digital entertainment sphere, whatever you want to call it. They're quote unquote down bad, so to speak. It's honestly kind of sad, but it's only the result of a much deeper problem. Man, love, loneliness, and social media. Talk about a deadly trifecta. Because when you think about it, all three enhance the negative effects of one another. Just try not to get caught up in all three things, because it'll drown you. Anyways, I think I'll leave this one at that. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, or sub. And with that said, make sure you guys stay true. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.